Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. Ah, uh, don't worry, Jeb, I'll save you. So today, we have been commissioned by the UK Space Agency, everyone's favorite space agency, to build a bridge and take it into space. So the campaign name is Bridge. Our agency flag is, of course, a nice arch bridge, although we're probably actually going to be building a truss. Now, and this is actually a UK space agency project, not a UK bridge agency, because we are getting the bridge into space. Well, that is the plan anyway. So let's start campaign. Now, at the time of recording, a brand new patch has just released, which hopefully fixes some of the technical issues we've been having in the game. Uh, so I thought this is probably the best time to start building a bridge. The downside is uh, I don't have any mods, so I don't think I can change the size of things too much. Like, for example, if I grab this I-beam, it looks like a sturdy bridge building material. But can we change the length? No, we can't change anything about it. Uh, so this could be fairly tricky. But anyway, we'll delete that. Because if we scroll down, we also have these truss pieces. Now, a truss is what I sort of want to build. So I guess I could technically build out of that. That feels like cheating, though. What does a tube do? Wait, what? So if I... Oh! made a tube. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. So I can literally select how long I want a tube to be. And then I assume deploy type is how it opens. Oh, that could be good for another video. Uh, for now, though, bridge, bridge, back to the bridge, Matt. So let's start with that, just the pod. So we do actually have someone to control this thing. But then we're going straight down to those I-beams. Or perhaps we get the floor. No, I might get the floor in first. So probably massively over egged the length of this, but let's go for it anyway. So I-beams, we can shove these pretty much anywhere, it seems. I imagine probably worth starting in the middle. So let's wang one like there and give this a rotate using the red arrow. So that way, now, I think we're snapped. So that's not ideal to make an equilateral triangle. So if we click this magnet, we unsnap and then we can be a bit more flexible with it. Oh, and I've just realized if I turn on symmetry like that way, I can do the other side as well. So yeah, actually we'll do it like that first because then I'm only building half as much bridge as I need to. Quick mess. So next up, we place another one there. Rotate it that way because it's got to be how these I-beams work is like the middle bit does your bending moment force. That's your web. And then these outer bits, they're called the flanges. <laughs> <laughs> favorite engineering term. Yeah, they sort of stop the beam from like twisting and things. So when you're doing a truss, you want your beams to be that orientation, essentially. So let's rotate this one. Oh, and actually, actually, I just had an idea. They're not going to be connected, are they? They'll be connected to the floor, but not to each other. So yeah, I don't actually want to do that. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, I've got to stick it on the end. So like that. I'm not making a super tall one. I'm going to I'm gonna twist it from here. So we just go whoop. Okay, that's good. Then can I add another one up the top? Coming off that, we can so we end up with that sort of thing. And then, yeah, that's all one piece. So I can now copy that. Though it doesn't appear that the, the new patch has fixed the copy rotate thing. Like, how how is that what I've just copied? Like, it's, it's deconstructed it. <laughs> Even if I rotate this thing, it's still... Like, that's not what I copied. How are they the same? <laughs> oh, game. So we'll do this all manually then. Then, yeah, screw the orientation of beams haven't got time for that anymore. This is going to take ages. I think the worst thing is I know none of this is probably going to be attached to each other, meaning I'm probably going to have to strut it all together as well. But that looks kind of good, kind of truss-like. So if I just add one piece of floor to the end, I've just done like a little small one, move that to the side, wang one next to it. And that actually, that's not too bad. I'm sorry, but that's actually pretty good. We can then use presumably the smaller I-beam. Oh no, it's just too small. I was hoping I could shove it in there because the big one's going to be way too long, isn't it? Yeah, that's not ideal for a cross beam. Uh, I mean, we could do that. That does actually, I mean, it's the perfect length. I can get away with that, can't I? Yeah, so let's just move those so they sit perfectly in there. Oh, look at this. It's a bridge. <laughs> Now, in order to build down this end, you think all I need to do is just grab the majority of that and then copy. Um, unfortunately, when you try and copy anything that's stuck together, <laughs> the game does that to it. How is that a bridge? That's not a truss. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want to do, game. Yeah, just shove it. Shove it there like that. Oh, yes, that's perfect. Thank you, game. Thank you. Now I don't have to spend hours rebuilding that on the other side. Sorry, as you may have guessed, a little bit annoyed after do this manually. Although I tell you what, we could do a truss building montage. Hello fellow engineers, I'm an engineer Making an art out of myself like I've done for over a year It's got us to a million subs, of that I'm very proud And this video will show you some designs that are very loud I've built so many buildings, well some of them have stunk 
I grew up in the 90s, so this... And just like that, we have a bridge. <laughs> um, I guess we need something to, like, support it on either end, though. So I guess for now, weighing, like, a large platform on either end and see if we've actually built a legit bridge. I imagine not until we get the struts involved. But uh, let's see what happens to the launch pad. Okay, so... Oh, my God. It's actually... I've actually built a bridge. It's holding together. Okay, I can see some movement. I'm not sure if those... Yeah, perhaps we need to strut to the deck and maybe to these cross beams yeah so looking at these i think that's attached to that side and this one's attached to that side so maybe just strut them in the middle and then once i strut everything to the deck i think that's actually a legit bridge oh my goodness so editor cue that strutty music Ooh, is that a strut oh yeah strut it big boy i love it when you get your strut out like that oh yeah structural stability all right so that's the last remaining strut yes it's a weird edit i don't know if we'll keep doing that one uh, if you do want to see more of that sort of content though head to struthub.com uh, but for now let's head back to the launch pad and then we'll see is this thing more like a single structure i think it is you know okay so it may have been weird but the system works that is 100 a bridge now to show the world the power of engineering because we are going to use this bridge as the basis of several vehicles so first off let's add some wheels to the front some wheels to the back shove some boosters pointing out the back of this thing and then we are attempting the bridge speed record so on to runway number one let's launch so here it is oh it's got a bit of flex it has a bit of flex um but let's see what speed we get up to i guess turn sas off and then boosh oh no it's turning whoa my what that didn't work very well although it did because bill is absolutely fine in there because this has been engineered to protect anyway these front wheels are going to turn off auto friction control and motor enabled yeah we don't want that that's probably messing us up and the rear ones will turn Turn off steering will turn off motor. So is this better now? I think before the motors were messing us up. Are there steering on these? I'm not convinced. Uh, perhaps these wheels will be better. So let's go. Why is it not moving? I mean, as long as we survive, it still counts. It just won't be a very high speed. Look at the size of the flames compared to it. Why is it not moving? <laughs> anyway, the bridge speed record is four meters a second or nine miles per hour. I mean, next up, I was just going to put wings on this and call it a plane. I feel like these wheels aren't right, though. So for the plane, we're going to put a one of those wheels on the front. We have some big wings on the side. I am going to tweak them, though. I don't think they need to be that Thick. But yeah, we'll add our wheels under here. Put some Jess engines underneath that are massively oversized, I think. Then we can shove two tails on the top. Make sure they're pointing the right direction. Give this a suitable name. Then we'll head to run... Let's say what, we'll head to runway two. I don't never go to runway two. Let's see what it's like. So here we are. Oh, it's in one piece. It is in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing. Hang on, what's happened to my... When did my tail fins do that? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, let's look. Oh, I don't have fuel. I may have forgotten to add fuel. One second. All right, so we got a fuel tank on front with aerodynamic nose cone. Uh, let's turn SAS off because I know best. And then let's fire up the engines. Yes, we have thrust. Oh, look at this thing. <laughs> It's actually flying. Oh, I should, I should have, I should have changed the tail fins. Anyway, we are taking off. G to put the old wheels away, and we are up. We're flying in a bridge. Yeah. So as this thing moves, you can sort of see like what parts are connected to each other and what aren't. All right. So if we turn this bridge around, I feel like it's probably worth attempting a, a landing. Right. So if we come in this way, straighten up drop the landing gear and then if i can just make it over this hill oh man considering i have no tail fins we're actually doing this pretty well i may have landed a little bit early but grass is softer than tarmac that was my theory look how perfect i've landed well two wheels have landed that one refuses to no it's down now it's down now right break oh my i've legit landed on the runway look at this thing wobble and look here's jeb or bill or whoever's driving i can't remember who it is they're literally using the bridge as a bridge as nature intended look at that i'm sorry if you're not impressed with that there's something wrong with you the uk space agency has done it again but they have bigger ambitions not just the sky but they want to head way up there into space don't look at the sun 
something. Look at the sun, Bill. It's bright. So we're at the UK Space Agency. We're big believers in recycling. So we are just going to be taking off the plane parts we don't want and then repurposing this magnificent bridge into a space rocket. Now, if we're going into space, first things you might think we need are rockets. But no, UK Space Agency says safety first. So we're going to grab some of these parachutes, shove two up there, two up that end, and hope they're enough to save this thing as it comes crashing down. If we get some of these decouplers on the edge, give them a bit of a rotate so they're sort of pointing upwards, then we can probably just wang some fuel boosters on those, ideally pointing upwards, not downwards, like that. Uh, we'll pick a nose comb because we are trying to do this sensibly these days. So that's those on the top. Uh, check your staging, sorted, and then we'll move this thing to the launch pad, although it's sort of... <laughs> <laughs> it has fallen off the launch pad slightly. Uh, do we think we'll clear this? Why are you there? Why are you there? Still, we'll try launching and hopefully missing that. So sparks are going. The countdown is off. We are about to launch the first bridge into space. Oh, we did hit the tower. We did hit the tower. That's actually going pretty well, though. Uh, just ignore this bit. I mean, yeah, I don't disagree with you, game. But if we just add some clamps, like, to each corner... Uh, oops, then I'll realize how tall I built this thing. <laughs> it's taller than the tower now, so we can't hit it. Okay, well, that's, that's a positive. So we'll launch the rockets, and then we'll let go of the clamps. And then we are up. The bridge is heading to space. Wait, the bridge. The bridge isn't heading to space. Space is up there, Bill. Bill, space ain't down there. You're going the wrong way. It's right. He's turned it around. He's turned it around. I tell you what, we're going to do a vertical landing. Did the new update change space bar so it doesn't do the staging anymore? Because uh, I tried to do a couple and I couldn't. Anyway, we'll go again. I'm going to jettison those. So now we're just a bridge flying through the air. We're flying through the air. Um, but then I'm going to hit the parachutes and hopefully... They will actually save us. Ooh. Maybe if they had more time to actually work, it would have been okay. Yeah, I reckon. Let's go back to the VAB. I'm thinking maybe boosters aren't the best way of doing this. Let's get rid of those. Because you can't actually control boosters like at all. They're basically just big fireworks. So instead, perhaps we can do like normal rocket with rocket fuel. So yeah, we'll shove one under that side. One under that side. Maybe a bit more actually. Why not? And we're going to add two mainsail engines underneath. Because these have some thrust. Add some control surfaces to the top. Of course, give this craft a suitable name and then we're ready to launch. So there it is. Fits on. Oh, it actually fits this time. So that's good. We don't need the clamps. Uh, so I guess we just launch this thing. Why doesn't the space bar work anymore? Activate next stage space bar. Okay, well, for some reason that doesn't work. Anyway, right, let's launch this thing. Oh, stop pressing space bar, Matt. You can't do that anymore. We've got to click this button in the bottom. Right, we're off. We are off. Actually, none of my controls work. I can't... Oh, I can steer this thing. Okay, that's good. Wait, is it good? Why are you going that way? Why are you going that way? Come on, Matt. Control this. Control this. We've got fins. We've got controllable rockets. Matt. Matt. No, stop blaming Matt. It's Bill's fault. He's a pilot. Bill. All right, something I've realized. I need these to work in tandem. So surrounding those in flaps isn't the way to do this. Think what I actually want. If I change the symmetry to that one, and I probably want fin there, then another one over this side, and then like that. So we don't actually have any in the middle because that's not technically like the rocket's not round if that makes sense so that doesn't seem to work too well because i have just lost two fins from this side <laughs> but uh, let's see is that any better oh, i'll tell you what i'll tell you what that's like perfect we're going to space boys we're going to space in a bridge all right oh nearly lost it nearly lost it i'm trying to lean i'm trying to lean i mean to be fair we've got to go this way anyway because we're trying to get like in orbit potentially i feel like maybe i need bigger wings all right let's turn the throttle down well, there you go. There you go. No, this isn't very good, right? Jetson. Oh, no, we can't jetson. I didn't add decouplers. I didn't add decouplers. Okay, parachutes are up, though. Oh, oh look at the bridge. <laughs> it's been torn apart. But because I engineered it so well, I think we should be fine. That might explode as it hits the water. Oh, no, no. It's good. We're good. Uh, I'm still not sure this patch has made the water physics any more accurate. But uh, successful launch. So a little bit of tweaking is required. Let's get some decouplers under there. We'll add some bigger control surfaces and then i'm just going to add like a very small little rocket under here just to do some like space movement because i'm confident this time so if that goes there then got that underneath so that looks 
good. So shall we give this thing a launch, man? You can see the SAS going mental with those control surfaces. Uh, oh, and apparently spacebar's working. Uh, the game did crash before, so I had to reload. But uh, that's a good sign, I think. So main thing here, I just want to get really high, but uh, also stay stable. And at the moment, looking great. So yeah, we're definitely sending a bridge to space this time, I think. How's the fuel? We've used ooh, nearly half of our fuel. I mean, that is the downside of this design. It's not the most aerodynamic in the world. But oh no, I started leaning it and it oh poop well that's disappointing okay so rather than leaning like that direction i probably want to lean like that direction to get the speed so that would be up and down on my controls okay let's launch this all right and then i want to do a lean i just oh i don't i don't want i don't want to flip it no yes yes hold it Hold it. Hold it. Okay. Okay. We're sort of good. No, no, no. It's gone too far. Oh, oh, balls. Okay. What I'm thinking, maybe do these need to go like lower down? Like if they were at the bottom, does that make more sense? I mean, ideally, I just want to like, I just want to rotate it. So it's like a cross. So it's completely even, but uh, we can't do that. Oh, what I can do though. Add some struts. Oh no, I can't. It's, it's too long. I mean, more power's never been a bad thing, has it? So what if I were to do that and that, add some boosters in here, and then strut those together, because... Yes, now it reaches. So all boosters and rockets go at once. Then they detach. Yeah, cool. Let's just launch it. Okay, looking good. Although it is precariously balanced on a handrail, as you can see down there. Oh dear, UK Space Agency. Right, let's launch this thing. So we're off. Are we more stable? We will find out. Uh, we have more power though. That is 100% guaranteed. So the boosters have run out. Perhaps I should have had them on their own decoupler thing. Can I, can I decouple them without those engines going off? I'm going to find out. So if I press space, yes, they're gone. Okay, so that's good. We've lost some weight and I think we're technically like in space. So let's turn the throttle down a bit and then let's have a think about trying to lean this without it spinning out. Oh man, this is actually, this is actually going well. It's not spinning. I think we're in space. So now we've got way more control without like airflow ruining us and stuff All right so full power you've got to pick up some speed and we've run out of fuel okay so jetson those guys and then this little guy yes we're off <laughs> so just like elon musk who put a tesla into space i put a bridge into space uh, so maybe i'll become the world's next billionaire right is that how this works and now we've made it this far, you know what that means. We need a bridge review. So not only is this truss bridge an absolute classic, it's the current bridge speed record holder, formed part of the most effective plane I've ever built, and it's the world's first space bridge. So overall, I give this bridge a 9.9 .9 out of 10. It's near perfect bridge review. And if you want to do your own legitimate bridge reviews, head to my new merch store, realcivilengineer.com to get your bridge review shirt now. Anyway, perhaps one day we'll be able to go over to there, the moon. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and space bridges. Cheers for watching, guys. Bye.